We're going to start off by playing a game. I'm going to say a word and you're going to respond with the first word that comes into your mind. Islam. Quran. Muslim. Men. Women. Poverty. Education. Expensive. The MRS degree. Sexist. Now keep your responses in mind throughout my presentation. I want to see if I can change the relationship that you see between the first four words as of right now. To begin, we're going to start off with something called the N-curve. Now the N-curve is not based on numerical data, but rather on changing trends present in Islamic or Muslim communities. I don't wish to bore you with a history lesson, however one must understand the past in order to comprehend the change. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is one of the most important figures in Islam, being the messenger of God. Historically, Islam revolutionized the world by making education for both men and women one of the most important aspects of being a Muslim. In fact, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, third wife, Aisha, not only wrote over 2,000 hadiths, which are holy scriptures or words of God, but was also seen throughout the Arab community as one of the most influential and intellectual people. Note that I say people as opposed to women, because during this time, men and women, under the eyes of Islam, were considered equals. Fast forward to about a hundred years after his death. According to Judeo-Christian theology, which was prevalent during this time, women were the cause of mankind's fall from grace. Furthermore, they were also seen as a lesser version of the perfect specimen, man. This idea is known as androcentrism. And in this androcentric patriarchal a patriarchal society, a, a, an image of an ideal woman was put forward as one who stays at home, cooks, cleans, bears children, and attends to her husband's needs. Therefore, there was no reason for women to get an education. This, according to Williams, is known as selective tradition. Essentially, the patriarchal society chose aspects of the past and the present and created a new tradition, which led to the prevalent views and hegemonies with uh, regard to women's education as they were in pre-modern Islam. However, as with all living hegemonies, it is constantly altered by the challenges and pressures it faces. Behind me is the epitome of the challenge against what is now seen as a normal place for women. Malala Yousafzai stood up against one of the most extremist groups in uh, Islamic culture the Taliban, and in doing so, alter the lives of millions of women. Furthermore, prominent writer Mohammed Talabi is a figurehead in challenging, this, in challenging the status quo of such extremist groups. He analyzes the Quran and points out the stark differences between what the Quran and Islam teaches and what the followers of such extremist groups believe. You may be wondering why I'm talking about seemingly random individuals. Well, it's all part of the process. Moving on to Sheikha Moza. Sheikha Moza <coughs> is the Sheikha or Queen of Qatar, who single-handedly revolutionized education in Qatar by establishing a group of universities known as the Qatar Foundation. Living in Qatar, I was able to witness firsthand the consequences of her actions. No longer were women expected to get married. Yes, the change was just beginning, so marriage was still considered important. However, it was starting to come secondary to women receiving an education. As mentioned earlier, hegemonies change. Uh, it's not instantaneous, but it's rather a gradual process that is altered by the challenges and pressures it faces. The actions of these women, writers, and nationalist movements have changed the stance of Arab uh, nations with regard to women's education. Not only has there been a 40% increase between 1990 and 2015 of the adult literacy rates of women in Arab states, but a similar increase can be seen with the youth literacy rates of the female population. I am aware that many of you have been taught growing up that Islam advocates for the oppression of women. However, I hope you see that there has been undeniable change. No longer are women expected to get their MRS degree. Thank you.